Hey guys, Jay Siemens here. Welcome to my new series, The Complete Guide to Ice Fishing. It has been a banner year for fishing license sales and I know a lot of people are gonna be getting into ice fishing this winter. I got a 10 part series coming your way brought to you by Travel Manitoba, teaching you everything you need to know to get on the ice. Okay guys, you got your shack, you got your heater, you got your electronics, you're all dressed up. Now we're talking ice rods. And this chapter probably more than any is personal preference. It's how you're fishing and it's what lures you like to use and how you like to fish. This, this can be the difference between you standing and fishing, kneeling and fishing, fishing in a snow bear, fishing in a small shack, a permanent shack. All those things should be taken into consideration. First off, I'm just gonna like eliminate the type of rod that you don't need. You don't need a little, pool cue like this. I'm actually not sure what this rod would be good for, but when you have a short, stiff pool cue like this, whenever that fish gives you a head shake, that rod's gonna straighten out. And what you want a fishing rod to do is to absorb the head shakes. You wanna keep that fish hooked. So when the fish bites and he's fighting, it bends. It doesn't have to bend through the entire rod, but you at least want a little bit. So when that big fish loosens up, pretend that my hand's a fish, even when it loosens up, there's still a bend in the rod and that keeps that hook pinned. So I'm gonna give you guys three options if I had to buy only three rods to cover lake trout, pike, panfish, walleye. These would be the three style of rods I would get. All right, we're gonna start on the smallest end of the spectrum. This is a 39 light. What does that mean? 39 is inches. You got a 39 inch ice rod and then the L stands for light. In open water rods, you have the action and you have the power. The L is the power. Ice fishing rods don't show the action. The action is talking about how the rod bends. So sometimes it'll be a moderate action, it'll be a fast action. That means a fast action is typically a rod where it's just the tip bending, and a moderate action is when you get a bend all the way through the entire rod, as you can see. So depending on the situation, you might want a fast action or moderate action. That's something that isn't always listed on the rod, so that's something to take into account. You might want to contact the manufacturer, have a chance to hold the rod yourself. But 39L, this is a dipstick style noodle tip. As you can see, super soft. So there's a lot of applications I use this rod for. I use this for walleye, use this for panfish, use this for whitefish, use this for stock trout. There's so much stuff. This is probably the rod I use more than anything else. I love how long it is for standing and fishing, but I love that it has the backbone still if you do hook a big fish. If this thing was noodle all the way through, it would fold back on itself and I would not be comfortable tangling with a big fish. So this rod is so versatile. As far as the reel goes, I mean, you can just slap your open water reel on here. This is what I do. You know, it's a little bit of a higher end reel. I know some people like to buy cheaper, you know, ice fishing reels because they know they're gonna get used and abused. They wanna buy a 40, $50 reel, slap it on there. You know, once again, personal preference. All right, next option. This is your big walleye rod, big walleye, big stock trout. And once again, it's kind of catered to the lure you're using for rattle bait, or a jigging spoon, you're probably gonna want something a little bit beefier. This is a 38 medium, bigger reel on here, 2,500. It just makes everything a little smoother when you're dealing with a big fish. Often, often the drag's a little bit better on a big reel, picks up more line on every crank, and also, if you do hook something crazy, it's not gonna spool you. Such a good rod for standing and running and gunning. All right, my third and final option, and this one can vary a lot depending on the lure you're using. This is, you know, your big pike and lake trout setup. This is for the biggest of the big fish you're gonna capture the ice. And this specific model is on the smaller side of things. This is a 40 heavy. I've got a smaller fluke rigged up on it. And you know what, this is suited for the fluke. You can see a lot of backbone on it, but if I was fishing a six inch tube, a 10 inch tube, uh, you know, laying a big dead bait on the bottom, fishing an iFish Pro, something I'm gonna be talking about later, which is a tip up type system for your rod, I'd probably want something a little bit heavier. So keep that in mind. Once again, a bigger reel, 3000 size, 4000 size, you're often gonna be using heavier line, which means you're gonna want a bigger spool so you can hold more line. And then one other personal preference thing, this reel you tape on, the other ones actually just have uh, collars that slip over. So that's personal preference right there. Uh, you know what, a lot of higher end rods have tape on them, but once again, I would say 99% of the rods I use just have the collar that slide over it. All right, that is it for rods and reels. Once again, K 
cater it to your fishing style, whether you're standing, sitting, what you're fishing in, you know, try a couple rods out, borrow some from some buddies and figure out what you like. But those three options will be a great starting point. All right guys, next chapter, we're gonna be talking lures to rig up on your rods and reels.